Hi everyone and welcome back to some Marcellization 6. So, let's continue where we left off. And I'm actually strongly considering using the second charge of the Great General to finish the Forbidden City, because I don't really want to wait too long before switching to military production. And there's no time for wandered spamming. So, we'll just switch to something else, because I'm pretty sure the second charge will finish the Forbidden City, and then switch back and finish it with the Great Engineer. We can either get a shipyard or start getting actual land units. I think we should start getting land units. Let's get a quick bombard, because there's actually both that we can get if we own two bombards. Might as well go for that. Which one was it exactly? Let's have a look. Where was it? Oh yeah, this one. Siege Tactics. Yep, we can do that. And we'll need bombards anyway, as well as artillery in the future. So. Anything else? Let's have a look. We should probably move away from here. Although... Well, we could finish off that caravel. Let's just finish it off and go through here. That will be quicker and we'll get a little bit of experience. Sounds good. And kill that catapult. Let's see, what can we use? Probably a frigate. Now, I don't want to stay at war with Brazil too long because I would really prefer to focus on either France or China. One or the other, doesn't really matter who we're going to attack first, but I would prefer to attack China first. The only problem with that is that we'll need a lot more setup to actually attack China. Also, this is actually going to be a pretty nice city with Galapagos. Yeah! Alright, the builder, let's improve the luxuries first. We need these apostles to move out of the way. Alright, we'll just wait for that, I suppose. And the builder can go improve the luxuries right away, because that's more important at the moment. Off you go, I need some defenses in these cities. Because it's quite possible someone will declare war on us to try to take one of these cities. It's definitely a possibility. Arabia, for example. We'll need some defenses over there. One of the reasons why I want to switch to military production, to send some proper land units to protect our newest cities. Because I suspect it will be necessary sooner or later. Alright, anything else? You can't move anymore. And the great artist, move him to our other city. Alright, done. Now, I was thinking about great people. And I think I'll grab John Rockefeller. If we can rush him with faith before Arabia gets him. It might end up not being necessary because we might get our own oil. However, that way we should be able to get oil way ahead of time, as in long before we actually research combustion. And that might be quite useful because combustion is a little bit out of the way and we'll need oil. So, that's the plan. Alright, let's go improve the silk first. Because some of our cities are at minus one amenities. As for the actual city location, I think this will be the best one. Yep, we'll get quite a few tiles next to the wonder. And we'll get everything else that we need. Sounds good, let's get started. And we'll improve a few things. And let's check production. For the production and monument yep let's grab the monument and send the caravel in the other direction now before i upgrade any units i'll probably wait for a professional army because it's going to cost us quite a lot meanwhile we can get more experience we got one more frigate in moscow another caravel that's slightly annoying but Hey, more experience for us, I don't really mind. Speaking of experience, we got a promotion. Plus 7 combat strength versus land units. Very useful. Kill these guys. Can we actually negotiate with Brazil? Yes, we can. Can we make peace? No, apparently not. Alright, never mind. We have to kill a few more units, I suppose. Which isn't going to be a problem. Let's just move in and get more experience. This guy is very close to a promotion, so is this guy. 
and he will get square. That's the promotion that's supposed to double combat strength. If on the same tile with a support unit. I'm curious if that's going to work. I don't see why not, but it seems a little bit too strong. Alright, get rid of the quadrinim. Maybe move out of the way of that encampment district. We still can't move through here unless we get rid of that warrior. Alright, might as well just do that. Since we are already here. Alright, so now we'll just switch back to the wonder and rush it with the engineer. The whole palace complex is built along a central axis, the axis of the world. Everything in the four directions suspend from this central point, represented by these palaces. I love that wonder. Easily one of my favorite wonders in the game. That wildcard policy slot is so good. And back to the bombard. Yep. Only three more turns. So, which policy do we want? What do we actually need right now? I wouldn't mind more gold, but can we actually get more gold with any of these policies? Kind of. Plus on gold from each of your city-state envoys. We do have quite a few, actually. At least 10. Plus 4 gold and plus 1 faith from all trade routes. Yeah, that would be better for gold. I think that's the best policy for gold right now. We got 4 trade routes active at the moment and we can get 6. So that's instant plus 16 gold per turn. And extra faith is actually useful because we can use that for great people or for national parks. Alright, sounds good. How are great people? Let's see, Arabia. They aren't quite close to the great merchant yet. And we'll need a lot more faith. Or more progress, basically. We should build at least one more commercial hub somewhere. Not quite sure where. I guess we'll see. Probably in Novgorod. This was supposed to be the tile for the commercial hub. That was the plan. Get the luxury. What do you want? Oh yeah, we are settling close. I don't plan starting any more cities. We have a city basically everywhere. Egypt denounced us. Yeah, we have a city on the west side of the continent, close to France. We have a city on the northeast side next to China and on the southeast side next to Arabia. That's all we really need. And we got a promotion. Let's have a look. Yep, let's work towards square. Because that sounds really good. It sounds a little bit too good to be true. I would like to test that promotion and we got it. Nice. Maybe move the battering ram in that case. That should work because it is a support unit. Let's have a look. Battering ram right here. Promotion class. Support. So that should work. Kill some more. That was almost enough, but not quite. And production. Let's see. Monument, I guess. Our culture output is not exactly amazing. Might want to work on that a bit. Yep, sure. And builder. We got one more luxury to improve. Let's go improve it then. And I'll probably get an encampment districts in both these cities. Also for defensive purposes. And builder. Yep, grab the luxury. That was the plan. Now, I really don't want to stay at war with Brazil for too long. Nope, he will not accept. Alright, we'll just have to kill some units. I guess we'll just do that. Another caravel. Let's block the way for that caravel. Like so. I don't want to move too close. But we can attack the catapult. Because experience. Plus for experience. Pop the artist. And next. Barracks are almost done. I started a stable initially at the end of the last episode, but I switched to barracks because barracks will be a little bit better in the long run. 
Monty thinks we're a warmonger. Egypt. No, not interested. We are totally not a warmonger. We gave him his two cities back. We are the good guys, right? And another promotion. Oh yeah, this is the one. So that's going to be square. Double combat strength when occupying the same hex as a support unit. Okay then. And let's do some damage. So, Brazil, are you going to talk? Nope, he still won't accept that. Never mind, we'll just keep trying. Doesn't matter, we'll just kill more units. We can start attacking his city. That was kind of the original plan. So, let's maybe do that. Back up and repair. No upgrades yet, we need to wait for professional army. Especially since these are going to be fairly expensive upgrades. Now, we do need a factory in Moscow. Let's just grab that. We got quite a few ships right now. That's what, a fourth frigate? I think so. No, we have five frigates. That should be enough, especially once we get battleships. And upgrading a frigate to a battleship is not exactly cheap, so I don't want to spam too many. Armory. I think we need an armory for a Eureka boost. Or do we? Oh no, not anymore. But I might still build one. What else do we need? A bank. What about that commercial hub? I would really like to get a commercial hub. So, right here. Plus three. We could get a harbor instead, but I prefer a commercial hub. The unfortunate part is that I'll have to buy that tile. Which is not exactly cheap. But fine. Commercial hub. Okay. Good enough. And we still need two more trade routes. I can't build everything all at once. We can get one after the bombard. Maybe before the factory. No, we need that factory ASAP. Improve the luxury. And our amenity situation should be much better soon. And go past Valletta. One more great work. Let's see if we can get any theming bonuses. Probably not. Oh yeah, we need objects of the same type from different artists. So it's basically not possible. Because we only popped two artists. Which means it's physically impossible for us to get three different objects from three different artists. Never mind. Carry on then. No valid target. Alright, anything else? Not really, no. Is this attached? Now it is. Can't attack the catapult just yet. And builder. We can improve the horses on the way. Can we actually sell horses to anyone? Seems unlikely because everyone hates us. How badly do they hate us? Oh, it's only what? Minus... We don't have a warmonger penalty with France. Okay. That's surprising. Minus 11. Not as bad as I thought it would be. Minus 11. Okay, so it's minus 11 with everyone except France. Minus 84 with Monty. Yeah, obviously he won't be our biggest fan, let's just say. Yeah, minus 11 with everyone except Monty and France for some reason. I'm not sure why we didn't get a negative with France. That's interesting. Arabia minus 11. They dislike your approach to governing. Well, I dislike yours. Minus 20 for different governments. Yeah, they got theocracy and we got, what, a merchant republic. We don't get along. Literally everyone in this game except one Civ has theocracy. So, yeah. And looks like one of our trade routes got pillaged. Alright, whatever. So, Brazil. I do like more experience. But I would like to end this war sometime soon. Get rid of that. Still can't attack the catapult. Will they peace out now? If not, we'll just attack their coastal city. Alright, they asked for it. Totally not my fault. Hey, they were the ones who declared war on me. 
So it's 100% their own fault, right? That's my version. This should be enough to take the city. Now, back to our capital. There's the bombard. And we can send it west right away. It will take a while to arrive there, but we might as well get started. And let's get one more. I could... No, not the Great Library. Oxford. We can't build Oxford here. I will not be building any more wonders. There's no time for that. We could build a district. But I'm not sure if we have the time for that either. Privateer. 50 ranged strength. Ironclad. 60 melee. Ironclads are good. But I would like to get more actual land units. Because we won't be able to attack China with our navy. They don't really have any coastal cities. Alright. This is already improved. Let's go improve the rice. We got four more builds. We can improve the crab, the rice. Maybe remove one of the jungles. Yeah, we could do that. We could also remove the forest. It's better to remove the jungle. That will be a little bit of food and a little bit of production. And the trader. I think we should go for the trader route that will give us the most gold. Plus 15 is pretty nice. Plus 1 production, plus 17 gold, plus 2 culture. The only problem is that I was kind of planning to declare war on France. But I'm leaning towards attacking China first. France will be much easier to attack because Paris is right next to us. Let's use that trade route. Our next target is definitely going to be China. And the builder. We got one more build only. I guess we'll improve the wheat. Sounds good. And you guys can start attacking the city. That's Arabia. What are you doing here, Arabia? What is he actually doing? He's not at war with anyone, so that's odd. Well, whatever. Rest. Now, we could get a boost to nationalism. It is actually possible. But... I don't think it's a very good idea. I could switch to a different Civic and then wait for the boost. Having said that, Colonial War CB will be our best option, because quite a few seeds are behind us. Sumeria is in modern era, really? Alright. Well, they are slightly ahead of us, apparently. Okay, there are three sieves in modern era right now, but they have fewer takes than we do. I'm not progressing to later eras on purpose, because I don't want an even bigger warmonger penalty. We got 37 takes. Yeah, China has 34. 34 on Sumeria. They are doing some really aggressive beelining there. What was the third? Siv. Arabia, China, Sumeria. Okay. China, Sumeria, Arabia. Yeah, 31. So Arabia is in modern era with 31 takes. That's some really aggressive beelining. Alright, but as you saw, we are ahead of everyone in the tech count. They are just beelining more aggressively. And what do you want? Oh, we actually got a positive with China, I think. Yep. We aren't competing for the same wonders, so they kind of like us, but not really. <laughs> and what? We are actually just passing through. Legit. I don't care about you anymore. We got the only city that we cared about. And envoys. We lost both Geneva and Hattusa, so that's not great. I think either they're focused on Geneva. Let's focus on Geneva. Especially since we are literally right next to Geneva. I wouldn't want to be at war with them. Not that we wouldn't be able to handle it, but it would be slightly annoying. Grab the farm. And yep, get the rice. And the gypsum. So, Brazil. Come on, Brazil. Do you really want us to take your city? 
Well, apparently the answer is yes. Fine. You asked for it. We got three frigates. That should be enough to get the job done. All right, they asked for it. Oh yeah, we do have a promotion. Let's not use it just yet. I know that means we won't be getting experience, but that's okay. If we take some damage, then we can pick up the promotion to grab the heal. Kill some more. Nice heavy chariot. <laughs> what are you planning to do with it? Probably not a whole lot. Hey, we could pillage a few tiles around this city. I don't plan actually taking it, but we could pillage a few tiles. Just to do some damage. And maybe get some gold. What are you planning to do with this spearman? Attack our frigates? I don't plan settling any more cities. Alright. Promotion. No, hold on. Let's not do that yet. Let's pick production first. So, trader. We do need another trader and our other cities will be a little bit busy. I would say. And since we are going to need a lot of gold for battleship upgrades, let's work the best shader out for gold. Yep. Sounds good. Especially since I don't plan declaring war on France right now. Grab the gypsum. And to get started on an encampment, like I said, I would like to have an encampment here. So, this tile, for example, that should be decent. Yeah, I think this is the best one. Then we can get a commercial hub down here, for example. And some other district right here. What about an industrial zone? There's no really good location for an industrial zone. But we definitely want an encampment district, so go ahead. Yep, go ahead. It will take a while, but we better get started then. What is he doing with the spearman? Well, I don't know. Giving us experience? Clearly. Let's pick up that promotion then. And the other one. Fine. Works for me. Are we at war with whatever this is? Buenos Aires? Uh, oh yeah, we actually are. But what is he going to do? Melee the frigate with a catapult? I don't think that's even possible. I'm pretty sure it's actually not possible. And kill these guys. Oh yeah, one more shot. Finish off the heavy chariot. Otherwise he would probably run away. We'll just finish nationalism. Because... It's unlikely we'll be able to declare war with one of the earlier CBs. One of these. I don't think any of these are actually valid right now. No, we can't declare liberation war. We can't declare holy war on anyone. No, none of these are valid, so we cannot get a boost for nationalism. We'll just finish it. Caravel. And no, don't upgrade it. We need to switch to professional army. So, no. I guess we could attack these spearmen with the caravels. He's actually buying units. He's buying spearmen? What's this? Enemy spies sabotage the production. What? Hey, that's not very nice. So now I'll have to repair these buildings. Okay, that is very annoying, but let's finish the Masked Man. We are about to finish our spy. I guess I'll have to use him for counter-espionage. Like I mentioned before, on higher difficulty levels, AI does actually use the spies against him. And it can be fairly annoying. Let's keep doing damage, because I don't want the city to repair back to full. And I suppose we should send these frigates north. They will be more helpful against the city. Meanwhile, we can get more experience. Oh yeah, I can't actually move into Monty's territory. Well then, never mind, let's back up in that case. Sure. We got two more builds. 
We should remove the marsh. We can remove one marsh and then improve the cattle or the copper. Or we can just wait for another builder before removing the marsh. The city is already up to four population and it will have five soon enough. There's no need to remove the marsh right now. Need more housing, yes, I'm aware. We don't have access to neighborhood this ship yet. So you'll have to wait, sorry. What do you want? Denounced us. You know, our relations with most of the AIs are not as bad as it looks. From this. We are just slightly in the negatives. And if they didn't all go theocracy, I'm pretty sure we would be able to stay neutral with at least a few. But oh well, but we they all went for theocracy and I don't want that. Confirms. So there's what the happened? field cannon, now we'll be able to upgrade our crossbowmen, but not yet. And production, so we have to repair. Unfortunately, there's the spy. We'll move him to our capital, I guess, and counter spy in the industrial zone. Okay. On the placement. Countering enemy spies is actually kind of tough. But if they target the industrial zone again, this should work just fine. Hopefully. Production. Shipyard. No, let's just get started on ships. Let's see. Ten turns for a frigate. Okay. And the builder. So, remove the marsh or get the cattle and the copper. I think I'd rather get the cattle and the copper because that will improve our yields. And the city will grow just fine on its own to five. As an alternative, we could just let it grow to five and then remove the marsh. Because it will get the growth penalty from housing. And we can kind of get around that and make it grow by removing the marsh. That is actually not a bad idea, I like that. Three more builds. What do we want to remove? One of these jungles. This one. Yep. And back to Brazil. Are they going to negotiate yet? No, they don't want to peace out. Alright, we'll probably have to take their city. Which shouldn't be too hard. But I was hoping to avoid it. I suppose we won't be using our navy against China anyway. We could just fight both wars at the same time. Once we are ready to declare war on China, we are not quite ready yet. In case that wasn't obvious enough. I am preparing. We just need some time. But anyway, I'm going to make a cut here and continue in the next episode. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.